OK, you've got 32,000. At this moment, you are worth 64,000 pounds. But we don't want to give you that. We will, obviously. You can walk away with that. You've still got two lifelines. You are four questions away from one million pounds. Have a look. Question number 12 is worth 125,000 pounds. Who was known as the Hammer of the Scots? Edward I, Mary, Queen of Scots, Edward II, George III. The Hammer of the Scots is worth £125,000. whether to try the audience or try a friend. <laughs> try the audience or phone someone you like. <laughs> I think we'll let this splendid audience see if they can... Oh! <laughs> this will be a test. Wow. They are, in theory, our finest over 100 shows. They should have no problem with this at all. Uh, audience, all on your keypads, please. I think you rather know this routine by now. Let's try and get Peter up to £125,000, please. Peter, you don't have to take their answer. But let's see what we get. It's worth £125,000. All on your keypads, please. A, B, C or D. All vote now. We were really rather expecting a sort of 99% from these. 34, say Edward the first, 48, Edward the second, nine Mary Queen of Scots, nine George the third. When you said you had an inkling, well, I thought it was that, well, I was sure it's one of the Edwards, but um, <laughs> I'm still sure it's one of the Edwards. It looks like it might be uh, one of the Edwards. Um, but, uh, I, you I, don't have to play this question, but you have got to phone a friend. I'm more inclined to think it's Edward the first than the second. 34 percent of them agree with you. 48 percent think you're wrong. But they're a funny so, bunch. So I think we might ring... Which one? <coughs> one of my phone friends is Scottish. I don't know if he's more likely to know or try to have forgotten which one that is. So I think I might ring another one. I think uh, I'll phone Ralph. Ralph? Ralph. Is he the Scottish one? No. OK. English one? He's an Englishman. OK. Yeah. Where's he? In Crawley. Okay. Ask him the question, tell him the four possibilities. You've got 30 seconds. It's worth £125,000. You don't have to take his answer. Hello? Ralph? Yes? Hello, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Uh, good evening to you. Good evening to you. Uh, I've got Peter Dauncey here. Yeah. He's doing very well. He's on £64,000 at the moment. Excellent. Excellent, but with your help, Ralph, we can get him up to £125,000. Serious amount of money. Yep. OK, next voice here will be Peter's. He'll tell you the question. There are four possible answers. One of those is worth £125,000. OK. Good luck, Ralph. Peter, your time starts now. Thanks. Hi, Ralph. Hi, Peter. Who is known as the Hammer of the Scots? Was it Edward I or Edward II or possibly Mary, Queen of Scots or George III? But I think it was Edward I or Edward II, the hammer of the Scots. Uh, I'm pretty certain it was Edward I. That's what I thought. You would you like to put a percentage on it? Uh, 90 odd. Yes. Even higher. Almost certain. Good man. OK, Peter, good luck. Thanks very much. Cheers. Yeah. You don't have to play it, it's up to you. If he's right, 48% of this audience know nothing. <laughs> 34% say Edward the first. Uh, so Ralph said Edward the first. 48% say Edward the second. It's your call. You don't have to play this. If you're wrong, you lose 32,000. You've got 64. Uh, so. <clears throat> well, Ralph and I go a long way back, and uh, if we both agree on something, I think it's, it's going to be right, so I'm going to play Edward the first. Final answer. Yep. Want to go to orange? Yep. You got £64,000. Really and truly, there are only two in that. Edward I or Edward II. One of those is worth £125,000. 
He went against the majority of this audience. You were right to do so. He won £125,000. You've got £125,000, Peter. Have a look at that. Whatever happens, it's nice, isn't it? Very nice. Very, very nice. You've got no lifelines, but you're three away from one million. See what comes out. Have a look at question number 13. It's worth a quarter of a million. Several people in this audience tonight have gone away from here with £250,000. One's gone away with double that. Have a look at question number 13 of 15. It's worth £250,000. In which US state is the city of Chattanooga, Florida, Montana, Washington, Tennessee? Mm. Why are you grinning at me? <clears throat> well, I'm not grinning. Mysterious. Yeah. Take your so, time, take as long as you need. You've got 125,000 pounds. I'm pretty sure it's not Florida, Montana or Washington. <laughs> that looks like Tennessee then. Mm. <clears throat> but I, I wouldn't have um, been able to name which state it's in. So it's, um, it's up to you. It's worth £250,000. Um, Hundred and twenty-five will do very nicely. I can't force it. I won't force it. No. no, I'll take the money. Final answer. Final answer. Take the money. Big sigh of relief all round here. Oh, <laughs> Peter Dancy goes away with this check for one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. You can take that, Peter. That's now yours. Give him a big hand. One hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. I have the thirty-two thousand pound back. <laughs> I can tell you because I know you're dying to know. I can tell you, if you had and you very nearly did, gone with your gut instinct of Tennessee, you would not be sitting there now with one hundred twenty-five thousand pounds in your hand. You'd be sitting there with two hundred and fifty thousand. Oh. It was the right answer. I have to say, at this level, I think if you'd been wrong, you'd have lost 93,000. He goes away, Peter Dawson, with £125,000. Well done, Peter. Stop playing. Thank you, mate. David Gardner from Gloucestershire. Sarah Fritter from Manchester, <laughs> Keith Richards from Cornwall, and Stanley from Staffordshire, Fred Smith from Merseyside, David Tuscan from West Midlands, Shirley Gorton from Lancashire, John Sonino from London, Wendy Robson from Cleveland, and Nick Ferguson from London. Right, here we go. Fastest finger first. Whoever puts the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time tonight is next to play for a possible £1 million. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these actresses in the order they were born. Emma Thompson, Margaret Rutherford, Judi Dench, Nell Gwynn. Starting with the earliest, then the right answer. First and foremost, Nell Gwynn. I remember her so well. Mid 17th century. Margaret Rutherford, then, uh, originally born 1892, she was born. Uh, stayed alive a long time. Judy Dench, 1934, she was born. And most recent, Emma Thompson, 1959. That's when they were born. That's the right answer. All these got it right. Let's find out who got it right then. Who was fastest? These were right. Who was fastest? John Sedino in 5.42 seconds. John, what up? What? Ready for this? No. It is, it's the moment you've been dying for, for isn't it? Want to play? You have to go for it.
This is John Cedino. He's another house husband from London, watching at home his wife Coral and children Isabella, Alessandra and Serafina. Now, when John read his horoscope today, it said, and I quote, a man with a tight-lipped smile will be generous, but watch the figures. How did you interpret that? I didn't want to get carried away. So Am I the man with a tight-lipped smile? I certainly hope so. <laughs> what about watch the figures? Yeah, you might um, diddle the checks or that. <laughs> what? <laughs> OK, 100 shows, 209 people have sat in the millionaire chairs so far, like John. They've shared a total in just over two years, a total prize pot of £8,304,000 since we came on air. That averages out at prize money of over £80,000 per show. It's quite extraordinary. The rules have become national catchphrases by now, international catchphrases. 15 questions, £1 million, three new lifelines, 50-50... <coughs> Phone a friend and ask the audience. Don't get too excited, Fiona. Right, good luck, John. Yeah. OK, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? For £100 is the first question of a possible 15. Complete this well-known phrase, the world is your... Lobster. Badger. <laughs> the world is your badger. Oyster or periwinkle? It's... Oyster. Not Badger. Uh, I don't think it's Badger. It's final answer. It's good. You've got £100. <laughs> You've got £100. Have a look at question number two. Worth 200 quid. Here it comes. How many feet are there in a yard? Three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah. Watch out for figures. <laughs> there are three feet in a yard. It's the right answer. You've got 200 quid. <laughs> So far, so good. Have a look at question number three. It's worth £300. Which of these is the most often used name for a reckless driver? Roadhog, street bore, motorway piglet, <laughs> highway swine. It's Roadhog, Chris. Roadhog's the right answer. <laughs> That's really good. There are all sorts of others, none of which appeared on the screen. Right, you got 300 quid. Have a look at question number four. It's worth £500. You're 12 away from a million. Take your time, here it comes. Complete the title of the Julie Andrews film musical Thoroughly Modern Jilly, Billy, Tilly, Millie. Millie, Chris. Right, Alice, you got 500 quid. No problem so far at all. You've got 500 pounds. You're one away from the first big milestone where everybody breathes a big sigh of relief for 1,000 pounds. Have a look at question number five, John. Give me the right answer. Which of these was an ITV children's magazine programme? Macaw, Magpie, Mallard, Moorhen. It's Magpie. Magpie's the right answer. No problem. 1,000. <laughs> well done, John. Question number six, you might as well play this whatever, you can't lose on this one, it's worth 2,000. John, here it comes. Who is primate of all England? Lord Mayor of London, Queen Elizabeth II, Archbishop of Canterbury, Prime Minister. It's worth 2,000 pounds. Can I use a 50-50? You can. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Please leave John the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Primate of all England, Queen Elizabeth II or Archbishop of Canterbury, it's worth £2,000 to you. I think it's the Archbishop of Canterbury. So I will go with the Archbishop of Canterbury. That's a good reason to go with the Archbishop of Canterbury. Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. Confident? No. <laughs> you should be, you just won £2,000. <laughs> problem at all, you've got £2,000. Have a look at question number seven. It's worth £4,000. Here it comes. Who had a number one hit single with Baby One More Time? Martin McCutcheon, Christina Aguilera, Macy Gray, Britney Spears. Every kid in the country and most of your kids will be screaming the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Britney Spears. Final answer. Final answer. Your kids will be very pleased with Daddy. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. 
It was a big relief to go that. How are you feeling now? A bit better. Karma? Yeah. It's always a good bit when you get to a £1,000. Yeah. I didn't want to embarrass myself and get like £200. You haven't. Like you haven't. People, people dread all that. You haven't. You've got two lifelines left. Let's have a look, John. Question number eight for £8,000. Here it is. Which country donates the Trafalgar Square Christmas tree each year? 